सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल इन फॉर्म ऑफ स्मॉल पल्स टेल द हार्ट टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दिस इज वॉट कीप्स द ब्लड फ्लोइंग थ्रू द्यूमन बॉडी नाउ फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम Scientists in the US have mapped spiral electric waves in a live human heart that is associated with life-threatening cardiac events. In this episode, I explain how these high-resolution visualizations of stable spiral waves in the human ventricles bring a new understanding to complicated conditions like tachycardia and fibrillation. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. Clinicians have known for decades that spiral waves of electrical activity can occur in the heart and researchers have done experiments in animals and human hearts before. But this is the very first time that the evolution of a relatively stable spiral wave of voltage and calcium in the ventricles of human hearts have been mapped at a very high spatial and temporal resolution according to a team from Georgia Institute of Technology and Emory University School of Medicine studying live hearts from heart transplant patients gives a rare window into the detailed behavior of the heart during conditions that are difficult to treat like atrial fibrillation atrial fibrillation is an irregular and often very rapid heart rhythm that can lead to blood clots in the heart it increases the risk of stroke heart failure and other heart related complications as a result of this particular research doctors can gain a better understanding of how spiral waves begin and are sustained which can lead to new therapies to generate the conditions for spiral waves the researchers applied timed electric shocks to the heart to be able to see and record the spiral waves the team injected fluorescent dyes for voltage and calcium into the blood substitute that keeps the heart alive the changes in light intensity enabled them to record signals across the heart tissue a technique known as optical mapping the method allowed the team to simultaneously visualize the calcium and electrical waves in the heart by measuring the changes in light intensity as direct changes in calcium and voltage in cardiac cells each heart has a slightly different condition leading to the need for a transplant so the researchers were able to use the technique to investigate the dynamics of spiral waves in different types and severities of disease the team from georgia tech had been studying spiral waves in hearts for more than two decades Spiral waves are a good candidate for the physics field of non-linear dynamics where systems that appear to be unpredictable are not actually random. The group has earlier shown that methods can be developed to control and terminate spiral waves to stop fibrillation with little energy. Previously, the group has worked with fish, reptiles, amphibians and some mammalian hearts. However, thanks to the partnership with clinicians from Emory, they were able to study 10 human hearts from transplant patients who have received a new heart in the past 1 year. For the clinicians too, the research was eye-opening. According to Shariar Iravanian, an Emory cardiologist, looking at ventricular fibrillation directly through experiments gives a different perspective of the complexity of cardiac events. The research team explained that mapping electrical and chemical waves simultaneously in the isolated human heart offers a unique possibility to investigate mechanisms of sudden cardiac death at a new functional level and to associate the dynamic electrical changes characterizing malignant arrhythmias to the specific and individual pathology of patients. The researchers are continuing to study hearts and hope to tailor experiments not only for basic science but also to improve in treatments. For example, most arrhythmias are treated through ablation by burning the substrate of faulty circuits or electric shocks 
and this research could make such treatments more targeted and personalized. Such advances could have enormous implications for the future of the treatment of cardiac arrhythmias. This is Mohana Basu, assistant editor at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.